everybody, welcome back. Today we've got a new project for our journals. And again, I am still working on embellishments to add to this little journal. So I've come up with this, and I've named it a little window trifold, so that you can add it into a pocket. You could just... Oh, that's a, uh, yeah, you could clip it. That would be pretty, just clipped in the journal as well. So what I've done here is I've just lined this with some of the paper, you know, lined paper. We all have got probably too many envelopes and paper in our stash, so I thought I'm just going to start going through. I like the lined for writing anyways. And I've just come up with this. I thought it was a really sweet little addition to our journals. And then you could even do some back here or add a pocket if you wanted to. But I just like it this way, thinking it would be really pretty tucked in a little pocket. So let's just get started here. And it's pretty basic supplies. I try to keep my projects so you don't have to buy anything. Hopefully you've got all this in your stash. First thing you want to do is, is um, cut this down to 4 and an eighth by 9 and a half. And the reason I've done that at 4 and an eighth is so that I could get 2 out of a sheet and it still fit within my journals. And then nine and a half. Now obviously um, you can adapt this to whatever size journal you're working with. And there's just a couple of little things I want to point out on this that I learned by creating this one. The first thing you want to do is just fold that down. And then fold this back up. The, you know, the measurements, it doesn't matter. You can fold it all the way in if you want to. I will always like to leave a little bit of a gap. Set that one to the side. The first thing <clears throat> I would recommend you do is go ahead and round the corners. I just, I just think it looks a little bit nicer if you do that. And then what I've learned is you need to go ahead and cut the circle out first before you do the embossing because otherwise running it back through the embosser afterwards you're going to lose it just kind of flattens the embossing out and it's not as nice so let's do our cut first and it doesn't again it, it doesn't have to be a circle and it doesn't matter what size you just determine that This one's probably about an inch and a half, I would say. Make sure I've got that center. Ah, oh, I've got the wrong platform. Sorry, guys. Because of the embossing, I've grabbed the wrong platform. That's the only downside to um, the Big Shot. <laughs> is I like this magnetic for the framelits. But when you go to do the embossing, you've got to get the original platform. And oh, it is annoying when you're going back and forth. But we have to do it, don't we? So 
now let me switch that back. So the first thing I would do is emboss the section that you just cut. Because <clears throat> I've embossed this bit and the um, the little um, flap, but you want to do this first because if I did this first last time and it it really did flatten it down, so. I'm just going to run this through. shaking the camera guys and now I'm just going to <coughs> emboss this flap and I just want to make sure I get that lined up straight sure I got it the right way. And if you just take it and put your cutting plate right to the edge there, it won't affect that other bit that you've just done. So now you can see what that looks like. And it's just nicer because when we go to ink it, it's going to make that show up a lot better. So I'll go ahead and do that right now before we get too far into the project. Just ink it as much or as little as you want. I'll uh, be right back, guys. Okay, sorry about that, guys. So I've got these digitals, and you've seen me use these before. It's the uh, Ear Lama ja Shop or something like that. I can never pronounce it. Uh, but I do like her images, and I just went ahead and cut this out. But again, I'm just going to use some of the acetate. I've used this time and time again. You've seen this before, so nothing new here. Just want to cut a piece of that, and we'll get that down, and then we'll come back and line this with some of the paper. You can use <coughs> coffee or tea dyed paper if you choose to. Uh, it's just like I said, for me, I'm trying to start using up more of my stash, and um, and I do prefer the lined paper for. Okay, so we know that's where I want to put that. So I'm going to get that glued down. Um, so yeah, just trying to use up things I've already got. I had these images already printed um, so I didn't need to print anything else so just trying to clear out 
This and that always what we're trying to do. I mean, I can't believe how many digitals I've got printed already. Uh, somewhere along the line, I just ended up with a massive amount. Okay, so now at this point, just plain paper and I'm just going to run a, a really small bead of glue along the edge because I actually used the sewing machine last time, but I think I should have probably just glued it first. And at this point, I'll go over to the machine and I'll flip it this way so that my stitching looks nice on the outside. And that's another reason why <clears throat> it's, it's your advantage to just go ahead and put a little bit of glue. But I will have to let that dry now, guys, before I put my needle on there. And then I will be back to show you how to finish this off. Okay, guys. You can see I've run the stitching. And now I'm just going to trim this off. I always tend to trim after because sometimes the paper shifts a little bit. Not so much if you've glued it, but <clears throat> I do tend to do all my trimming after stitching. So we went out for a little walk yesterday, or we tried to anyways, and uh, we got to the place where we were going to go <laughs> and realized Paul had forgot his backpack, which had his lunch, and we were both already hungry. So we said, well, okay, we're only 30 minutes back to the house. Let's just run back to the house and get the backpack. Came back. Got the backpack, got back to the, there's a church that you parked at to do this hike, and it was going to be a three-hour hike. So we'd already used an hour and a half getting there, back to the house, and then back down. Got there, and oh my gosh, the heavens opened up and just poured down. So we sat in the car eating our lunch, Daisy's going frantic in the back. You know, she knows it's walk time. She's ready to get out. She doesn't understand why she's still in the car. So we sat there, had her lunch. It never did ease up. And we said, well, let's just get Daisy out. There was a like a little pasture. Um, and we said, let's just let her out, use the bathroom, and have a little stretch. Got her out, and her back, she was walking really weird. Because, you know, her, her back's starting to go. <laughs> And, of course, I was freaking out. I was like, Paul, something's wrong with her. She can't walk right. So we load her back up in the car. We're like, okay, what do we do? Take her straight to the vet or go home? We both decided, let's just take her home, give her her meds. She always get her gets her med uh, painkiller at noon. So it was already like, I don't know, 1.30. So we said, all right, let's just get her home. Let her have her dinner with her meds and rest and see how she's doing. <laughs> Got her home. I'm not kidding you. On the drive home, the heavens opened up and the rain turned to hail. And it was dry. We were driving through it and you couldn't even hear each other. We were trying to talk. You couldn't even hear each other. It was unreal. Got home and um, got her out of the car. And she just bounced right into the house. We couldn't believe it. It was just like, I don't know if she didn't walk in, <laughs> want to walk in the rain or what. So, But I was so relieved. I didn't care. And so, yeah, it was a complete washout yesterday, um, walk-wise. But, yeah, I was so glad that we didn't have to take her in. She seems fine. I mean, it's just one of those things we know it's happening. But... 
we're hoping that we can keep her pain free and you know for however long and just enjoy the time with her but yeah I couldn't believe it it was just everything that seemed you know that could have went wrong just seemed to go wrong <laughs> but it, you just have those days don't you so that's how it's looking now um, what I just did up here was just created a little just a little tag and I think I'm going to use a little circle tag here and just take oh let me see what I've got here if I've got it. this is chapter one and there's these little tiny circles I'm going to try to cut that out I, would, I don't have that size of a punch Let's see if I've got that size die. Hmm. Actually, I do. I think that's going to work. So, sorry guys. I'm just going to run this through the big shot over here real quick. Okay, I've cut it a little bit off center, but that's okay. Sometimes you can't tell with those dies when you're placing them on there. It looks like you've got it center and you don't, but that's okay. It's not going to show. But what I liked about that is you got the stitching detail. So I'm just going to pop that onto that. This is again one of the little paper tray ink. They've got the tiny tags die. Now, I don't know if you can still get them. Sometimes they retire their things and then they might bring them back in a couple of years. But you can see this is super quick. Now, the other thing I want to do is just... punch out a place to run some ribbon through. Let me see if I got a piece here. This is some uh, sorry I've got. And I know you're going to ask about it. Isn't it beautiful? But I cannot find. I bought it from somebody on Etsy. And um, I can't seem to find um, who it was I bought it from because it's been a couple, well, it's been many years now. And uh, I don't know if that shop, maybe she went out of business, I don't know, but I can't find it, so I'm sorry, because I, I really wish I could find it, but I've noticed, um, I think Etsy's now saying, when I checked the other day, it was showing that you can't go back more than like <clears throat> three months or something. So I don't know if that's a new change they've made, which is really not good because most of my purchases off of Etsy have been years back. Okay, let me get a pen.
got these little charms here. Oh, they, they're so sweet, these little hearts. Just to add one of those, and then this will be done. I really like how those came out. They're really sweet. So there you have it, guys. I'm calling this the window writing trifold because you've got all that writing space. But I just think that's going to be really sweet for these uh, this journal. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed that. I um, appreciate you guys joining me today, and I'll be back soon with uh, some more projects to share. I hope.